Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I am going to be showing you how to install Speech of Python. As far as I know, this is the first guide on YouTube, um, but it's actually kind of easy. Um, it's just a very large file because we have to install a virtual machine because it is made for um, uh, Windows Server 2003. Um, so if you don't know what a virtual machine is, it's just an emulator pretty much. Um, this one right here, and this program right here, Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager, is where we're going to make our virtual machine. Anyway, to get started, we're going to need to download something here. Um, it's a label I'm remaking. Didn't mean to click on that. I meant to click on this. One second, I'm, not gonna, I'm going to have to go into my Discord direct messages for a second. Alright, so I'll leave links for the download for this um, in the description. Uh, this is going to be going up on both my main channel and EAS101. You can see I'm signed into EAS101 up here. So anyway, you're going to go ahead and download VirtualBox over here on this page. And then go ahead and install it. Um, so we're going to download that. And then once that gets done, we'll install VirtualBox. And then right here, um, it says Google Drive cannot scan for this file for viruses. And as you can see, this is the Speechify voice software. And that's supposed to be Windows Server 2003. Um, and I can guarantee you guys it has no viruses. I have Norton, which you guys know is really picky. And also, I've never had any problems for it, and with it. So anyway, um, so you're just going to go ahead and click on this exe file down here when it's done downloading. And then... Um, as you can see, VirtualBox is safe. You can see this is my second time downloading it. I'm just doing it for this video. Um, anyway, once it opens, here we go. So you're just going to press next, next, da -da -da -da, and then just install a program. I'm obviously not going to install because I already have it installed. Now, I've already downloaded the um, server here. I mean, the, um, bleh, the Windows Speech Server 2004 thing here. So what we're going to do is that if we want to put our um, virtual hard disk file, which is the VDI file we just downloaded, uh, somewhere uh, where you know it'll be safe, do that now because it's hard to change later and it can cause um, virtual machine corruption, which is actually why I'm redoing this. Um, anyway, so as you can see, we're here in downloads. Just go and drag it into wherever you want it to be and. Uh, Okay, so yeah, uh, that's right, it does run off of a 32-bit virtual machine, but then once it's in the right spot, go ahead and open up VirtualBox and click Add right here. And then you can see it's going to go in here, so I'm just going to go into my folder here and then... Oh, sorry, I want to click New, okay. I'm going to click new, and then I'm going to name it. Name mine Speechify TTS Engine. Oops. So, um, machine folder. Uh, we're going to put it there. And type, uh, you know, Microsoft Windows. And then when we get a version, it's going to be automatically set to Windows 7 64 bit. We're going to go back and select Windows 2003 32 bit. And then we're going to press next. And then, um, as you can see, we're set to 512 megabytes here on the um, allocated amount of RAM megabytes on the machine. I am going to turn mine up a bit. I'm going to put this 1024. Um, so anyway, hard disk. Uh, so anyway, here. Uh, so we're going to have to use an existing virtual hard disk file because otherwise, you know, it's not going to have the Speechify stuff in it. So we're going to go ahead and add one right here, so, oh wait, hold on. So, right here, we're just going to click this little folder and arrow icon there. And then we're going to click Add, and then we are going to go 
to where our virtual hard disk is and click that and press choose and then create and we are done installing so we can now go ahead and boot this up for the first time so here we go and there it is Windows Server 2003 Enterprise Edition it's actually a really easy process. Um, anyway, so to log in, there's a few different things we need to do here. And, uh, eh, yeah, there's a few different things we need to do here. We need to go up here to the top and press Input, Keyboard, Insert, Control, Alt, Delete. And then we can log in now. Now, the username is Administrator and there's no password, you just press OK. And then, as you can see, it um, has a shutdown event tracker. Just Put in the space in the space and then press OK. And welcome to Speechify. And it is going to say 20 of the emergency for Pumpkin Palace right in here. And I have no idea why. But yes. Um, that is really weird. Normally it gives me a widescreen view. That's fine, I guess. If we go in here to the Microsoft Speech and into the um, Telephony Application Simulator, we can actually go and use Speechify now. So to edit the text, what you want to do is you want to go to pomps.pf. Full screen it here. So don't mess with any of the code except for what's inside these two quotes. So what you can do is you can press Control A and then backspace and then paste in the uh, thing I have in the description. It will have all this code here. So, um, then you can type whatever you want to say in here. Now let's do a... So if you're wondering why I put an M there, to make it say the National Weather Service like it does on a weather radio, you have to actually put the M in. Um, otherwise it'll go like, the National Weather Service, instead of the National Weather Service. So, um, but then you just like, cut that out in uh, whatever you're using, I, I use Audacity. Um, and now, so when you're done editing this pomps.pf file, you want to go to File, Save pomps.pf, or just press Control S, and then after that you can close it out and then open up the Telephony Application Simulator. Now here you're probably confused at what this is. So this is original, and this was originally meant to be used for um, uh, different phone options, like um, like when you're calling on a phone, it's like like when, like let's say when you're calling National Weather Service Wilmington, it's like if you have a dire uh, weather emergency report, uh, please press one. So, you know, that's, that's what all this is over here. Anyway, so to open up pomps.pf, we're going to go to File, Open, and then we're going to press Open again. Now, if it doesn't have the right thing in there, um, just go ahead and paste that in. That'll be in the description. And then when we press Dial, yeah, the National Weather Service in Wilmington. There we go. And then these have some programmed things into it. To hear rates for internet service using a dial up connect. I don't know uh, how to change that. But, yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's pretty much how to install Speechify. Um, so, there you have it. Um, so. You have the different configs, and now I don't know how to actually switch to Jill here, but you can start Jill here. You can, um, hold on. so, um, you can, with Tom, and with Tom and Jill, you can stop this voice graceful, stop this voice hard, which I think is kind of funny. Uh, as you can see, Tom's the only thing that's running right now, so I'm just gonna close out of that. And now, um, so, this, this file originally came from Electric Fanatic, so he, 
And he, and so anyway, he put a little thing here. So that's I, I think that's pretty cool. But anyway, um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description where you can download this. I'm actually gonna re-upload it. Um, this is not my file. This is uh, either from EAS Ohio or Electric Fanatic. Um, but I'm going to re-upload it myself. Because uh, I'm going to add some files here to make it easier for you guys to use. Like, I I'm going to um, add, like, a thing right here. So in case you lose the code, you can put the code in. That means I don't have to put it in the description either. Um, so it'll just be in here, I guess. Uh, and then the voice commands. Um... Okay, yeah, this is from EAS Ohio. You can, you can tell because Franklin. Um... But yeah, um, this doesn't change anything in the th uh, in the uh, actual speech thing. It's just uh, you like put that like you type that in. Now, you may have noticed by now that if you're trying to copy and paste something into the virtual machine, it's not going to work. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to select the virtual machine, go to settings, and then we're going to go to advanced, and then shared clipboard. We're gonna turn that and change that to bidirectional, and drag and drop. We're gonna change that to bidirectional also if you want to like drag and drop files in. So then we're gonna press OK, and then we can copy and paste stuff out, in and out. So um, anyway, let's see if it'll boot in widescreen this time. The answer is no. I don't know what that is. Um, I think what is up with that. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and- oh, Speechify. No. Wait. This page still works. Okay, cool. Uh, so you guys are gonna have some of the stuff here. Dang it. Uh, well, I guess you guys can just uh, take this PDF file and put it here. Will that work? Yes, it does. Cool. So. Yeah, there's the... That's the skin soft. Because this is not skin soft. This is Speechify. Anyway, there we go. This is a very long user manual, as you can see. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna add some more things here. Uh, for you guys so you guys have a good experience with this and um yeah so